Oh, yeah. <laughs> I like this footpath. So, well done, thank you. <laughs> thank you for saving it. Do you have to pull me up these steps? <laughs> same thing, same thing. See you later. See ya. Because it is an ancient footpath, it marks the, the route, or part of the route, from Yorkshire in that direction through to Clitheroe, 15 miles in that direction. And it's marked by two ancient stone crosses. Marsden Heights Cross, just up the way here, and Marsden Cross, where the pub took its name from, just on the roadside down there. This footpath was, was closed by the council in 2008. The entire banking, from here down, downwards towards the road, had uh, fallen down, uh, taking the wall with it as well. So the council shut the path for health and safety reasons. The former pub that was on the site where the flats are down there was also in disrepair at the time. There'd been a fire uh, and so there's no real uh, prospect of the footpath reopening. So it remained shut then from 2008 right up to being reopened in 2020. I'd inquired about the footpath to the footpath officer at Nelson and also the Rambles Association but there's very little they can do about it. In 2019 I happened to drive past and saw some activity at the former pub and when I got out and spoke to two surveyors who were there they said it had been bought by a developer. A couple of months later I came past and the builders were actually opening the building up. I spoke to the foreman right, and he said that they were going to develop into flats. So I told him a brief history of the footpath. He was very interested, the foreman, and said he'd pass my comments on to the developer. I didn't tell without much hope really. And when I came past a couple months later, I spoke to the foreman again. He said he'd spoken to his boss, the developer, and he assured him that the, ba that the banking would be repaired. And sure enough, six weeks later, the heavy plant moved in and repaired the entire banking, reinforcing it 20 foot high with a fence as we see further down the path now. Uh, the developer went above and beyond in my opinion, but it shows that you have to be vigilant and concerning footpaths and be persistent. The message really is to, be, is to use them uh, and be proactive and if one's shut for whatever reason, contact your local footpaths officer or the Rambles Association and do some investigations, otherwise they soon disappear. Some of my parts minimal, but I am quite chuffed it's open really.